What is up guys? So I just got onto the new map, Emerald Coast, Australia. I wasn't even planning on doing this. I wasn't gonna record anything. I just wanted to hop in for the first time and run around a little bit and then do my first impressions kind of video and then do the KC Planet episode. But literally, okay, this is where I spawned in. I popped in right back here, I think on the road. Yeah, just back here. Uh, immediately got feral goat calls, looked over this way. I took a screenshot of it, but I wasn't recording. Um, I noticed that there was one in there with horns that like went upward, which obviously we've never seen before. The feral goats, the, the, the horns always kind of go out to the side. I couldn't find the one I was looking for. And then, if, and then it popped out and I spotted it and it was a five. I want to try to track this guy down. His horns were going like up and this is a level five. I don't know if this is a new, uh, new diamond or not. That's the thing. There's a four. That one looks kind of the same. The rework does look really good. I wonder if maybe he'll just kind of whip back around. They went over this way. I don't know if there's a zone over here. I'm going to try to track this thing, see if I can get its track, see if I can find it at a zone or something and see what I see along the way. Again, like I haven't looked at anything. I don't know if I'm going to be running into some kangaroos or some crocs. This is my first look at the map. This is all I've seen so far down in the saltbush plains. This is where I've spawned in. And uh, already we've got some uh, some interesting things going on. So I'm super excited for this. Like I said, I wasn't gonna record this right now. I just finished streaming. I was just gonna kind of chill and just kind of run around the map a little bit. But of course, we've already got something that we need to track. So I'm kind of wondering if maybe crocodiles live in this area. So I'm noticing there's like just like these little kind of rivers, kind of creeks, kind of a swampy area running through here. Um, down in like, I guess this is kind of the outback area. Kind of looks like the kind of like the bushlands area of the map. There's that four again. Oh, it looks like we got red fox here too. Look at that. We got a level six. We got a rest zone. Cool. So I'm just going to try to get this guy's uh, track. We're looking for 43, 43 to 50 right there. Now, unless that's the four, I think this is probably the five because the five ran through right through here. But yeah, these these cool little kind of creeks and rivers kind of running through here. I don't really know what to what to call this, but kind of like a bit of a swampy area. It's really cool. I don't know if the crocs will be down here. This is an interesting way to be kind of checking out the new map for the first time, trying to track a level five feral goat. I wasn't expecting that. So I imagine as I'm tracking, I'm probably going to be seeing some cool stuff along the way. So I'm going to keep my eyes peeled for not only level five, but for all kinds of stuff, all kinds of surprises await us in the new map here. Okay, fleeing. Oh, they were up here. There he goes. Look at that. See what I mean? <laughs> what is that? I don't think that's ever been a thing before, right? It's got to be a new thing. I don't think their horns have been able to do that previously. They're sticking way up. 192 to 220. That's a big one. All right. They were chilling right here. This is where their zone was. Okay. I should be able to get this guy. Some new bushes and foliage. Check these out. That looks cool. Heck yeah. New trees. That is awesome. Very cool so far. Very cool looking. I'm approaching the closest outpost. Didn't even go to, uh, I didn't even go to lookout tower yet. So I'm getting ahead of myself a little bit, but we got to get that feral goat. So I'm going to grab the 243 and head back there real quick. See if we can get that five. Magpie goose caller, baby. Pretty sick. Sandbar mouth caller. Look at this. There's a sandbar caller. Nice. 500 meter range to attract any curious sandbar deer. Wow, that's nice. And that's for the Rusa, the hog deer, and the sandbar, that caller. Wow, that's fantastic. Ooh, kangaroo zone. <laughs> no way. Seven of them. Seven of them. Let's get some of this to serve veg. Can you imagine? Can you imagine if there was a rare in here? Zone is three to six feeding. Okay. Hopefully they drink during the day. Hopefully. Oh, a kangaroo, an eight mythical kangaroo. They go up to nine. No way. Look at this thing. A mythical kangaroo for my first one. Wow. Dude, the way they crawl is insane. Look at this. Wow. Oh, now he's hopping. Oh my gosh. That looks awesome. 
Oh, there they go. There they go. There's a whole herd there. Couldn't spot any others. Oh, so good. Okay, hang on. Hang on, I gotta find this level 5 feral goat. I gotta get that out of the way. Then we can keep exploring. We can keep doing the explorings. But we gotta get this level 5 feral goat first. Where did he go? Okay, hang on. There's a one trivial. Where is he? Might be right up here. Hopefully they're right up here. Oh, there he goes right there. Dang. 192 to 220. What are those horns? Have the horns been able to do that before? I don't think so, man. I don't think so. I don't know how I spooked him. Let's just stay on him. He'll stop up there. Hopefully give me a shot. Kangaroos, baby. Look at him. Look at him. Look at this one laying on its back. Scratching its tummy. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that is so good. There's a five there, but we know now they go up to level nine. There's a level seven there as well. So, holy, there's a mythical. That's, I don't think that's the same one either. Look at the way they're laying on their sides. That's incredible. Is that another and another? OK, I think there's too many mythicals, you guys. Another one. These kangaroos are so cool. Uh, this level five feral goat is right over this hill. Somewhere. I don't want to spook it again. Look at the kangaroos. They're alert. Look at this. Mythical alert. Look at them. Let's see what they do. I'm tracking this feral goat now. I got his track. And I'm tracking him, but I got to go through these kangaroo to get to him. Oh, and they're resting again. That's kind of interesting. They all went down at the same time. Look at him scratching his belly. So they can like lay on their side or their back. <laughs> Looks hilarious. They stretch. That's great. Maybe I'll try to shoot one. Not yet though. I, I, I can't because I got to get this done. I got, well, hopefully diamond. I got to get this level five for a go. I think it's a diamond. It looks huge. This is his track. He went this way. All right, guys. It's time to shoot a kangaroo. It's time we shoot a kangaroo. We're doing it. What do I got? I've got the seven mil. I'm going to see if I can drop this eight mythical kangaroo. Maybe we can even get one to go aggressive after we shoot. These guys are just resting. Seven there. Yeah, this guy's giving me a shot. Look at him. Look at him stretching. Oh. Another mythical. Oh, wait, maybe not. There is two. There are two mythicals in there. This guy's got a tree in front of him. Wait, there we go. Uh, do I have a shot there? Sort of. I've got a shot right there. Okay. Let's see if this drops him. Oh yeah, he's done. <laughs> there goes the other mythical. Oh, look at him go. That's awesome. Okay, let's go pick up our first kangaroo. This is going to be epic. All right, here we go. <laughs> Holy. We've got a dead kangaroo. Look at this thing. My goodness. Pretty awesome looking. Holy, look at the eye. Oh, the detail. Crazy detail. That thing just got absolutely destroyed by that 7 mil. Look at the detail on this thing. All right, let's pick it up. Woo -hoo. Look at this. <laughs> this one is a gold 458.15, 492 for diamond. 492. Mythical. Oh, this is weird. This is different. So you just right click here now and it shows what we hit right here. Heart double lung. Wow. Wow, what a shot. What a shot. Let's go to in, in inspect mode. We got the heart there. Where is the heart? I don't even see it. Oh, yeah. we. Oh, my gosh. We, like, centered the heart. The heart is tiny, too. Wow, what a shot. We get every organ. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Look at this silly thing. Holy. Yeah, we got friggin' heart, right lung, left lung, right scapula, 
uh, but it cuts itself off and it's not scrolling like it usually does. So that's kind of strange. Um, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Our first animal in Australia, an eight mythical Eastern gray kangaroo. Not too bad, not too bad. I've got an aggressive kangaroo, baby. I've got an aggressive kangaroo. What's it gonna do? Whoa, what the? Oh my gosh. Did it just go up on its tail? <laughs> oh my gosh. Hi. Better get a gun out. Whoa. Hang on. No, no. Don't go yet. Like posturing up in front of me. <laughs> oh, now it's going to flee. No. Okay, so I haven't seen them actually attack yet, but that's my first uh, encounter with an aggressive kangaroo. Pretty crazy. Something that I'm really noticing about this map is that it really does have its own identity. It's got its own field. I still haven't gotten out of this kind of like shrublands. Uh, well, not really shrublands, but more just kind of like the outback, right? Kind of like bushlands kind of territory. But as you can see, it's really got like it's got its own feel. It really does have an Australia feel. Um, and I'm really enjoying that so far. I'm really excited to get out of here. And uh, yeah, we're kind of in the saltbush plains still and start moving up. I imagine the crocs are going to be kind of in the swamps here. And uh, we're really excited to start to figure out some of these drink times. Start to see some more of these species. What we got there? Axis deer. We got axis deer out here. Looks like they're feeding this time early afternoon. Feed zone here, 12 o'clock. Let's take a look. 9 to 12 axis deer feeding. Very cool. And we've got hog deer right beside them. Look at this. Almost didn't even see them. Hog deer 2 minor. They are resting right now. That might just be a solo. My first look at the hog deer. This is just a tiny little level two. But they actually look quite big compared to the axis. Look at this. Huh, interesting. Okay, my first lake. We've got fallow drinking. My first little tiny lake, if you can even call it a lake. It's more of a little pond out here. But I've got fallow drinking. It's still there drink time. What I might do is push the time ahead a little bit and see what the next one is going to be. So. Right now we're still fallow, it's 10 to 13. The only thing is I don't know if there's out overlapping drink zones, right? There might be overlaps. So, you know, roofs or sandbar or something else might be drinking at the same time right now. My main thing, the main thing that I'm wondering right now are the kangaroo. When do they drink? Do they drink at night? I'm starting to think they probably drink at night, but yeah, I still have so much to discover you guys. I haven't seen any magpie geese yet. I haven't seen a quail, a button quail yet. Um, there's just so much still to discover. And uh, let's just keep it going here. More kangaroo. We got a five there. Just spooked him out of the bush. So cool seeing these guys hopping around, man. <laughs> it is so cool. They look so good. Anytime I'm, I'm seeing these kangaroo, it's just awesome. I can't help but, but watch them. Whether they're kind of hopping about, hopping across the fields, or if they're if they're laying around. They're, they're quite fascinating. They don't look like any other animal in the game. It's very, very cool. Oh, and there's more of them in the front. Hang on, there's five. There's a seven. Oh, it would, be, it would be so cool to see a nine. I hope I do get to see a nine in the early access. There's a five and a four in the front. We're rare. I'm hoping there's albinos at the very, very least for the kangaroos. A lot of these big open clearings, it's really nice. You've got the kind of, uh, you know, condensed little uh, bushy areas, the forest areas, but they tend to just kind of be all on their own in their own kind of small little condensed area. And then you got lots of trees kind of along the rivers. But there's a lot of these wide open clearings where you can really see really far. I've got feral goats up here on the hill. And it really gives you a feeling of this kind of vast, open, sprawling outback, uh, you know, Australian uh, bush plains kind of uh, feeling to it. It's very cool. I'm really, really enjoying this map so far. And I've barely scratched the surface. I've only seen one biome. So we have a lot more to see, a lot more to explore here. All right, a couple more outposts here. We've got one to the south. We've got one east. I think I'm going to continue east. I mean, we could go north here, grab that one. But I think what I want to do, I want to head east, get this outpost, keep on heading east, grab this lookout point, and then start heading north. Start getting to some crocodiles and uh, start finding some more of these drink times. Hi, legendary. What? Hi, legendary kangaroo. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. No. <laughs> 
Oh my goodness. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I need a screenshot of that. Okay, hang on. Still fleeing, still fleeing, still fleeing. Okay. Let's see if I can get him to stop. There is a friggin' nine legendary kangaroo. I can't believe it. Still fleeing, fleeing for a very long time. Oh, he turned. Took a hard left there. Okay, so they flee for a long time. I can't believe that, you guys. <laughs> Just coming up on that outpost. Got a warning call from a kangaroo, and sure enough, there is a nine. And he is really taken off. I mean, they, they're fleeing for a very long time. Let's just get that track. This should be his right here, I believe. Yeah, 53.7 to 66. Jeez, I didn't think I'd get one without getting their drink time. I'm trying to figure out their drink time. We've been chatting in the Discord. Uh, the other creators and myself. And I've been trying to figure out their drink time because I really want to hunt them to get a 9 Legendary. Uh, I didn't expect that this would be the way that was going to go down. So he's a brown fur variation. So this is starting to thicken up a little bit, I'm noticing, as we get into this area. We're starting to thicken up a little bit less uh, wide open kind of clearing, kind of plains. We're getting more into like a jungle, a jungle kind of outback jungle kind of area. Not quite tropics, but it's starting to thicken up. We're getting into the forest here. There he is. He's right there. He's right there. Okay, there's the herd. They're just chilling. They're resting. They're nervous. I'm going to have to be as quiet as I can. He's right there. Nine legendary kangaroo. Unbelievable. I hope he is a diamond. I don't know what diamond is for them. Oh, no. Yes, I do. I think it was 492. That's a terrible estimate. It's a horrible estimate. 492 is diamond. <laughs> that is an awful estimate. Hopefully, he's up at the top of it. All right. I got to shift to the right if I want to get a shot here. He's laying down. He's facing west at the moment. I'm facing south, so I need to be facing east. I want a good shot here. Okay, they're nervous. Oh, what are they doing? Not sure what they're doing, but gives me a shot. I'm taking it. Oh my gosh, he's coming right in. Of course, he's going to stop behind the tree. I have to 075 here. I friggin' smoked him. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Smoked him standing up. Oh my gosh. Oh, I hope he makes it. He's a really bad estimate, you guys. 492 is diamond. That was better than I was expecting, man, to have him come in and get him standing up. Super cool. Oh, look at the way this thing died. Wow. Dramatic. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at this thing. Oh my gosh. This is incredibly dramatic. Wow. That's crazy. All right, let's see if he makes it. He's a gold. 467. That's like, that's so bad. That's 25 points below diamond. It's a really bad troll. Um, Good shot. Got the lung there. Well, their lungs are quite high, actually. Go right up to the bottom of the neck. All right, well. That's a terrible, terrible troll. 467, my gosh. All right, well, let's keep going. Hog deer drink zone. Let's go. First hog deer drink zone. I'm going to try to get in here without spooking them. And up to this new lake. I'm moving further east. We're pushing east, kind of pushing north as we kind of push east. Got hogs deer drinking. That looks like that would be a piebald hog deer. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Pretty sure that's what that is. <laughs> Holy, are you kidding me? I was just about to say, I think Sambar are probably gonna be drinking in the evening, maybe after the hog deer. I really wanna see Sambar. I wanna see more of the Sambar deer. Um, but it looks like we got a little piebald out there, unless that's a common variation, but it definitely looks piebald to me. There's a three, okay. So I imagine they go up to level five. I'm thinking the Sambar do as well. Pretty cool. I like these little guys. Get a close look. Yeah, I like these little guys. Three very easy, 43 to 50. So they are quite small. So they probably are around the same weight, same size as the Axis deer. There's another zone over there. 
Yeah, they look really cool. And they do look a lot like, like real life hog deer. So this is what I want to see with the sandbar though. I want to see the rising, the, the rising on the rump, kind of like the, the musk deer. Hoping they the sandbar kind of look like that too. The sandbar kind of have that musk deer thing where where like the body is really big, right? And then the head's kind of small. Hog deer have that a little bit as well. Not quite like the sandbar deer do though. So I'm hoping the sandbar have that look. They're such a unique looking deer. Hoping they don't look too much like the red deer because in real life they don't they don't really look too much like red deer. But that should be a piebald. That should be a rare, I would imagine. Oh yeah, definitely a piebald. Awesome. So we're going to get our first look at a piebald, new species piebald here. Very cool. I've got the 243 pistol. So that's what we'll be using for this. Let's get up in here. Go 200 out. Get a broadside shot. Take her down. Look at that. Looks like it's a really nice piebald variation as well. There goes the three, a little bit of a close up of the hog deer there. Very nice. About 180. Let's get to about 150. And we'll drop that thing. Look at that. Look at the variation there. That looks really nice. Really, really nice. Zero it for 200. Aim a little bit low. And we're good. That thing is straight down. <laughs> Holy. Just demolished it. All right. What do we got here? Wow. Look at the contrast. Wow. That's amazing. The contrast with the dark legs. Kind of dark on the bottom. Lighter on top. That is a nice looking pie variation, if I do say so myself. Eyeballed, hog deer. Wow, my first hog deer. That is awesome. Unreal. Let's save that. That's very cool. Man, oh man. Diamond for the hog deer, 108.68. Okay, pretty cool. This is a little 30 kilo female. I think that is almost minimum weight. It was 30 minimum? And friggin' tastic. That is awesome. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Look at some of these trees. Some of this new terrain, you guys, is just so good. Like, this just has such an Australia feel. It feels like we're moving into the tropics now for the first time. Seeing some tropical uh, species of trees and foliage and whatnot. Yeah, we're definitely moving up into the tropics. That is so cool. Definitely getting tropical, you guys. That is so awesome. A seamless transition too. I was just kind of running along up to this next lake. We shot the piebald um, right down here. And as I'm kind of running along, I'm like, wait a second, things are changing a little bit. What are these trees? This is feeling, starting to feel a little tropical here. I wonder if we're gonna start to see some crocs, maybe some other species we haven't seen yet. I just can't get over that that seamless transition from outback to tropics. I didn't even realize it was happening. Like it's it's done so, so well. Like I am enjoying this so much and I've still seen so little on the map. I have so much more to discover. We got some quail down here. Let's see if we can get a spot. Oh gosh, can't get a spot yet, but there's a bunch of them. They're actually in the water, which is really cool. I don't know if I've ever seen quail go into the water before. I think there's one in the water right there. Is that a thing? Have you guys seen quail in the water before? Holy. If I can get a spot. See if we got a level three, maybe. I can't get a spot yet. Man, they are teeny, teeny, tiny. Get that Argus scope for these guys. Holy. Yeah, you got to be extremely close. Spot them. There's a fox. Level six male up there. There goes a kangaroo. Aggressive kangaroo. No. Oh, no. Oh, hang on a sec. Give me a sec, kangaroo. I'll fight you in just a second here. I gotta see. Oh, gosh. Oh, I hear him. He's coming at me. Level two, level two. Oh, gosh. He tried to kick me. <laughs> He's attacking me. Hang on. What if I got a level three? He fleeing now? Holy, did you guys see that? He tried to kick, tried to friggin' kick me. I think he did like a double drop kick too back on his tail. What in the world, dude? Wouldn't mind dropping one of these for science. We drop one for science? Let's see. I don't know if I'm too low or too high. I already got one. A level two male stubble quail. Take our first look at the stubble quail. Look how small they are. Is that smaller than the Bob Whites? Maybe it's the same size. This thing weighs 0.1 kilos. Wow. Wow. They look nice. 
Holy. Oh my gosh. 238 you need for a diamond, you guys. 238. And uh, we don't know what this scored. We don't know if we need males or females for diamond just yet. This was grounded, so we can't see what it would have scored. That's a gray-brown variation. Holy. What am I looking at here? Is that just the common fallow? Why does it look... Why does it look so light? What's going on with that thing's fur, man? It looks like it's like light gray. I have, I have to shoot it. I have to shoot it. It's Red Fox drink time, by the way, you guys. I did uncover Red Fox drink time. I had a bunch of zones down here. Uh, 1700 for Red Fox. So still starting to uncover more of these drink times. What is that thing? Is that just the common one? Man, it looks really gray. I think it's just common, but I got to take a look at that. Maybe that's just one of the, the new commons from the rework, but wow, that looked really interesting. We got Red Fox out here. Here goes a sandbar, level four. Oh, wow. Oh, there was sandbar here. Okay. Oh, sandbar drinking. Yes, let's go. Beautiful. There's a four there. Nice. So we got Red Fox and sandbar drinking at the same time. The plot thickens. That's fantastic. Okay. I was hoping this would be the slot for Sambar um, right after the hog deer. So that's perfect. Yeah, this is definitely just the common, but we can take a look at the rework here, guys. See what the new commons look like. We might as well. But this guy looks so light down here. But it is, of course, it's a white. Wait, <gasps> what's a white? What's what's a white? Is this, a is this a common? Is this a new rare? What are we looking at here? A white? Might be an uncommon, might be a rare, I'm not sure. Man, that's cool. I'm gonna taxi that just in case. Maybe they've got uncommons now, wow, that is so cool. <laughs>